Christian Kirksey with us on Texans Radio. Mark Vandermeer and John Harris with you. Christian, first of all, once again, welcome to Houston. I know you've been here for a while now, but what's it like being out there, OTAs, being with your teammates, mixing it up a little bit? Man, it's been fun. It's been fun, you know. Um, one thing, I didn't know it rained as much in Houston. It's, just, <laughs> <laughs> it's been raining like almost every day. <laughs> but no, uh, it's been good just coming out here, just having fun, uh, meeting my new teammates, um, you know, just getting the feel of things, you know, uh, building that team bond and uh, just going out there, just playing football. You know, uh, we all know that, you know, the offseason can be long and, you know, you can get some time to you know get away from ball. And then, you know, that first week when you get a chance to, you know, get introduced to your coaches and, you know, get back into the groove of things, you know, that, that's a lot of fun for me. So uh, I'm excited to be here. Christian, I've been asked this. I've asked this question a lot more so than I've ever asked it in any offseason to all the guys we talked to. Why did you choose Houston? Well, first of all, I got family out here. Um, so, you know, always being close to the family, get a chance to play in front of your family and everything like yeah. that. Um, you know, have a daughter, you know, she could be around, you know, her grandma and things like that. So um, yeah. that that definitely uh, played an effect um, on my decision. And um, also just Lovey Smith, man. Um, yeah, he's, a, he's a legend. You know, and from, coming from a linebacker, it's like, you know, how you see him, uh, you know, put his linebackers in position to just make plays and just go out there and ball out. You know, it's it's, it's almost a no-brainer. Uh, you know, I love he's coming from uh, college, and you can tell that he's hungry. You know, and he he he's trying to win. So, uh, you know, I was I was ready to get on board with that. And then just, I think this is probably the most that you know the NFL team had with bringing in you know new guys. And you know, I just want to be a part of that. You know, um, I know you know where this team want to go. I know the group of men that's 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 on this team right now that's, you know, trying to make the team and, you know, trying to, you know, win games. I know what type of mindset we have, and um, I'm just glad to be on board with that. So uh, with all of that, that, that really just made my decision to, you know, want to come here. Well, it's got to feel great to be back out there after what everybody went through last year, Christian, with COVID yeah. and not being able to have any OTAs and training camp with no preseason games. How important is this time of year for you guys? You mentioned it's so many new players in particular to get to know each other and collaborate together. Yeah, man, this 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 time is is important. Uh, like you said, like last off season was was different. You know, um, last season was different, and just to you know have this opportunity to get together, um, you know, get to know one another, you know, get that get that bind with the guys that we're going go to go to 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 battle with, you know, each and every day. Um, I think that's that's where this time is important. You know, uh, we are from, you know, different part of the 32 NFL teams, you know, in the league. And, you know, we are here and it's like we are trying to go for one common goal. So it's like, you know, well, why, why not get to, you know, know this man uh, on a deeper level? So I think that that's really what the offseason uh, program is about, is really building that team chemistry and building that bond. So um, that's definitely important right now. So we got to take advantage of it. Christian, I know you've been around for a while, so I'm sure Texans fans have seen you play, but yeah. maybe they haven't seen you play, if you know what I mean. Yeah. What would you tell the fans about you and what you're bringing to this organization and to this defense? Oh, man, I'm bringing, I'm bringing that energy, you know. Um, I'm bringing that passion to the game. Uh, you know, I, I play with a lot of fire, and, and uh, you know, regardless of, you know, win, lose, or draw, you know, I'm always going to bring them all. And uh, just bring that swag and that leadership, you know. Um, Half of the games is it's one off talent, but when you got guys that's like really going out there and they're playing their butts off and they're you know they're, they're playing like it's their last game, then that's when you you know you get over the hump and you win those close close games and things like that. So um, I'm just bringing that passion and leadership and that energy and uh, just having fun out there. So all y'all Texas fans, just look out for five eight because because we're coming. Christian, uh, it took you a while in your career to get your first pick, and you're a linebacker, so linebackers aren't going to get that many. But then you showed a knack for getting picks. So yeah. what is that all about? How hard is it for linebackers to get interceptions, and what's important to getting them? Man, I mean, I, as we know, you know, it's, these quarterbacks in this league is talented. You know what I'm saying? They're smart, um, and they're throwing the ball on a dime. So, uh, you know, it, it's hard to come across, you know, interceptions. But, you know, when you – can like diagnose plays and, you know, you can be at the right place at the right time and, you know, kind of, you know, see things before it happen. Then that's when, you know, you start getting your hands on the ball, but um, you know, it's hard though. Cause like, like I said, these quarterbacks is good and, you know, uh, the players are good. So 
Um, I'm a, f- a firm believer that they come in bunches, though. When you get your first one and they start coming and you start getting more and more confident and catching the rock. So, um, you know, hopefully I get plenty uh, this year and, uh, you know, maybe get into the end zone. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I need my first well, <laughs> well, Christian, if you get to two, if you get to two, you would have been the team leader from last year. So I'm hoping that you got two or more in you. There's no doubt. And I really feel like, Christian, I should ask you to give us the most PG story you can about a guy that we knew for a long time, CJ Fedorowicz. But I got a feeling um, that would be kind of a crazy story. So I'll ask you this. As you come into the room and you said there's yeah. a lot of veterans in the in the room, in the locker room. Was there anybody or any particular person in there where you're like, man, I played against that guy. That guy's the truth. That guy is tough. I'm glad he's on my team. Is there anybody like that that you've had um, that you've thought about as you've walked into this room, like you face, be it Mark Ingram with the Ravens or somebody along those lines that you face that you're like, man, that dude's tough. Now he's on my team together. That's kind of cool. Have you had that instance at all? That I, that I faced? Um, ah, well, I faced uh, uh, David Johnson. Yeah. Uh, I faced him <laughs> when we was in college. When he played for you, you and I, and I played at Iowa, and uh, he he so was told. You, the, so were you ahead. the linebacker that got beat on the long pass? Oh no, no I remember no, this no. game. I remember this game because he caught one for like seventy five yards on y'all, and I remember there's a linebacker chasing him. That wasn't you, was it? Man, I don't recall it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I remember. I remember he was balling, man, and you know they 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 had our car at that game, and uh, they ended up winning, which. You know, we all know that Iowa is the number one school in, in Iowa, and you know to lose against you and I, you know that definitely was a was a was a heartbreaker for us. But I just remember that he was balling, man, and you know just to see him, uh, you know, do his thing in the league and finally be teammates with him, you know, uh, you know I was definitely you know glad to be on on you know his side and uh, not the opposing team. Christian, you came into the league 2014, Cleveland Browns, and actually that season got off to a really good start for the Browns and you had a winning record and a couple of really nice wins along the way. Uh, And then things, you know, dipped considerably after that. What did you learn from your experience as a pro football player in that town when things got tough and you had to play well, no matter what happened? And you did, you put up some good numbers, but the team wasn't going so good. What did you learn about that as a player, as a person or about yourself? Man, I learned so much from, from, you know, being, being on that side where, you know, you're, you're struggling to find a win. I mean, dude, you really got to revert back to, to, to why you play the game, you know? Um, and then you go back and you find that passion, you find that love and say, okay, this is really why I play because I really enjoy doing this. And um, you find out who's really invested, you know, that's, that's on the squad. Cause we all know that, we get paid to play football. Um, you know, we're, we're only playing for, you know, a part of a, a, a year. And, you know, so, so certain guys can check out and be like, okay, we're not going to the playoffs. We're, we're not winning. So, you know, I'm just going to collect these checks and do what I got to do to, you know, uh, make it through the season. But, you know, when you, when you go through tough times like that, you really find out like, all right, this dude really loves football. When you see guys day in and day out, still pounding, still grinding, still trying to go win. And it, it, it reminds me of the uh, the year that we went one to fifteen uh, in Cleveland, and the fact that we won our first game week fourteen shows you that guys are still going out there trying their best to, you know, ball out, win, and you know do everything that they can. And I always go back to that season because you know a lot of guys could have checked out and said, you know, we're not winning. It's week fourteen. Let's hurry up and just finish these last two games and you know go about our way. But the fact that we we end up winning that late in the season, our first game, you know, it, it, spoke, it spoke volume uh, to me, just, you know, seeing what type of guys you got in that locker room or on that team. So when you go and and, and, and you see yourself losing that much, it really builds character. You know, um, you, you go back on your morals, you go back on why you do it and why you love it. And that gives you, you know, uh, opportunity each and every week to, to, to continue to compete. Christian, we've got a lot of guys that obviously are new to Houston, to the new, new to the Houston, Texas, but they're also new to Houston. Yeah. So when they come down here, the culinary scene to them is like, oh my gosh, it's like this incredible thing because there's so many different kinds of foods down here. You said you have family from Houston, so this should be a pretty easy question. If you got to dive in, what's your best cheat meal here in Houston <laughs> or anywhere? What's your favorite cheat meal? We've talked about football. We want to know about food now. What do you love in Houston? Yeah. What have you been able to get out to see and eat? 
so uh, my uncle actually took, so the first time I came down here, uh, well, not, I wouldn't say my first time, but I haven't been out here in a while. And uh, when I first got out here, my uncle took me to uh, Turkey Leg Hut. <laughs> oh, my God. When yeah. I, oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, I think that's the best turkey leg I ever had in my life. You know, the the line was like an hour long. Yeah. But uh, you know, I, I got there when it was already close to the front. So <laughs> I thank God I didn't have to wait that long. But um I can say that, that that place right there, man, is it's it's super good. It's super good. So that's that's well, a we've good got a lot know. of them, and I know you get a chance yeah. to try them all. Christian, thanks oh, yeah. so much for being with us today. We appreciate the time. Best of luck. All right, appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.